All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and others of Great Millstone who teach uh, and rule well. Salutations to the Akim who go out uh, in peace, uh, and Shalom to the Akim who go out throughout the four corners of the earth uh, to teach this doctrine, uh, this righteous doctrine given to us, uh, uh, you know, from Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, uh, throughout the four corners of the earth. Um, you know, I was getting into, you know, I was, uh, doing some traveling this week. And while I was doing that, I was reading, uh, I was just in the Psalms and, uh, I, I read 11, you know, Psalms 11 <clears throat> and I just kept reading. And then, uh, it brought me to, to chapter 14 and, you know, these other nations and I watched a, uh, I watched a, uh, video on RT on YouTube that was uh talking about how the Dutch foreign minister um you know doesn't doesn't feel that any multi ethnic societies uh that coexist that can there's no multi ethnic societies that can coexist peacefully. And he's right about that. You know, we were never never meant to uh coexist all as one, as you see in the example of when the most high broke up Babylon because they were all of one language and one thought. And he said, no, that's not how things are. He broke it up, gave every every nation their own language and their own ways, right? And, you know, he chose Israel, you know, to be his, his favorite. You know, he loved us more than any nation that's on the planet Earth. You know, if you, as you get into Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Uh, but I'm going to go through, uh, just read chapter 14 and get through what I can. <clears throat> it's a short chapter. Uh, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Uh, they are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good, right? Out of these other nations, uh, outside of the nation of Israel, uh, inc even including two-thirds of the nation of Israel, but, you know, just dealing with uh, the other nations, uh, they don't believe in the Most High, and especially Esau. You know, that's his teaching. You know, he's the one that says there's no God and that evolution is the way. And everybody else has their own gods. You know, they all believe in higher powers. And, you know, our higher power is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the Most High, um, who gave us his son to rule us. Um, the Most High Power Yahweh. Uh, that, is our, that is our power, and that is our God, as they say. Um, you know, they have done abominable works, and there is none that doeth good, right? So that's why these other nations are going to be in slavery in the kingdom of heaven. Uh, because there's no righteousness in them. Right? Verse 2. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men. Now there's three classifications of, of men. Right? There's the, the children of the Most High, which is the Israelites. The children of men, which are these other nations. And the children of the wicked, which is uh, Esau. So this is getting into all heathens right here. Um the children of men to see if there was any that did understand and seek the most high verse 3 they are all gone aside they are all together become filthy there is none that doeth good no not one <laughs> so you know this foreign minister is right we can't deal with these other nations like that they got to be in subjection under us in the kingdom of heaven <clears throat> just like as we are uh, under subject uh, under subjection to them here in, in their kingdom right have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread and call not upon the most high because in times past you had um you had kings that still gave reverence to the most high power yahweh because the most high would check them you know through the prophets you had um i believe uh in daniel's time you know they, they, you know, the, 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 the leader of that time, I can't think of it at this moment, you know, it'd be uh, a little bit much to get into it, but, um, you know, he believed you had, uh, the Pharaoh who eventually believed, even though the most high hardened his heart again, right. And, um, during the time of Joseph, you know, um, all these prophets, uh, the most high's judgment would reign and these other nations would, would take heed. And still understood 
that the Most High was the power on this planet, right? <clears throat> they were in great fear, for the Most High is in the generation of the righteous. Ye have shamed the counsel of the poor, because Yahweh is his refuge, right? The Most High power Yahweh Bashim Shai is our refuge. We pray through Yahweh Shai to Yahweh because He is our He's our He's our strong tower. He's our refuge, right? And uh, oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion when Yahweh bring uh, when Yahweh bringeth back the captivity of His people and that that bring it bring it back. When you look it up in the blue letter, is um, deliver. Uh, withdraw right when he takes back our captivity uh, um, When he bring back the captivity of his people Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad and why shall we be glad because when he takes back our Captivity is when we inherit the kingdom of heaven All Right, I'm gonna grab a couple of scriptures as well to get into this um, This Psalms 10 and 4 The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after the Most High. Yahweh is not in his thoughts, right? And the wicked is, uh, you know, Esau, Edom, who is the so-called white man, right? He has no righteousness in his heart, and he doesn't seek after the Most High. He doesn't believe that God exists, right? The elites know that he exists because they have all the records of things that have happened upon this planet, right? But even they don't believe in him. They don't give reverence unto him. Right. Um, Psalms 53 and 1. And this is just, you know, there's a lot of scriptures that kind of repeat themselves. But for edification's sake, we're going to bring them out. The fool hath said in his heart, there is no power, there is no God. Corrupt are they and have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. Right. It, this is consistent throughout the scriptures. The Most High. Um, did not give them the heart to follow them, to follow him, right? So these other nations, they're not involved in this thing of ours. You know, the salvation, uh, John three sixteen has nothing to do with you Edomites, as uh, Apostle Hart went into this week, right? That 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 is for the nation of Israel, uh, cosmos, uh, an organization, a government, which that government is going to be the one hundred forty four thousand, twelve thousand from each tribe under Yahweh Shai and King David. Right, you know, of the nation of Israel, right? You, you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The same for anybody else. Um, let's see if I have any other scripts. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, actually, I had a couple of scripts to go with that video. Um, all right, Second Ezra six and fifty-four. Right, just to show that the Most High is not dealing with these other nations. This is Second Ezra six and fifty four, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest uh, Lord of all thy creatures, of him come come we all, and the people also, whom he hath chosen. So everybody comes from Adam, right? Yes. But it said also the people whom he hath chosen. And who did he choose? Let's go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people, a separate holy, unto the uh, Yahweh thy power. And the uh, Yahweh thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people that are on the face of the earth. All right. Simple and plain. I ain't even got to break that down. The Most High killed it right there. All the all the key killed all the confusion. Um, verse fifty five. All this have I spoken before thee, O the Most High, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Right? He didn't. You know, the kingdom of heaven is going to be here on earth, and uh, the twelve thousand from each tribe shall shall rule. As for the other people which also come of Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle. What do you do when you spit? You spit it out, man. You think you're going to check on that little spit bubble that's evaporated in a week? You ain't looking for that. 
and hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth of, of, from a vessel or a bucket. Right? And the Most High, behold, these heathen, which have never been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and devour us. But we, the people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, the only begotten, and the fervent lover, are given into their hands. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an, an inheritance with the with the world? How long shall we endure? Right. So, uh, you know, that's that's getting into the most. How does it care about these other nations? And then, and you know, they were asking, you know, why? You know, how long are we gonna endure these these heathen? Well, it's, it's but for a short time. Right, the rulership of these heathen is for a, a, a small time. And if you was carrying a bucket or a vessel and you, you lose, lose one drop, see, I used to do tile. And we'd have to carry buckets for sometimes quite a ways from other houses. And as you're carrying those buckets, you're going to lose some water. But you think you got a whole bucket still when you get to the, you know, to the job site. You think you care about that, that drop that fell? No, you're not thinking about that. Um, Isaiah 40. And 15. I'll try to make this quick. I know Jake ain't trying to sit here all day. Alright, I'll start at 15. But behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing, and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All the nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. So he does not care about these other nations, man. So this Dutch uh, foreign minister is right. We ain't supposed to all be living up under each other like that, right? That's just that's not what this is about. And I'm going to get into one last scripture and jump up out of here. This is Psalms 147 and 20. And all the brothers know this one. Psalms 147 and 20. He uh, Actually, we'll start at 19. He sheweth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. Right? He's only dealing, again, with the nation of Israel. He hath not dealt so with any any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Right, and that's pretty simple. He's not dealing with any other nations. He didn't give us laws, statutes, and commandments under any other nation. When Moses was, uh, you know, up in Mount Sinai, right, he gave it to his 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 chosen, his elect, you know. And, and and even it's not even for the whole nation of Israel. It's only for twelve thousand of each tribe, one hundred forty-four thousand. Right. So with that, I'm gonna wrap it up. You know, give all praises and glory unto Yahweh Vashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders again, and shalom to you, Akim, who go out and teach this truth.